Good day everyone! Welcome to Rock's Cooking Journal! Today, let's make croquettes in two ways. Una natin gagawin yung mixed veggies croquettes, then bread croquettes naman. So let's proceed making our mixed veggies croquettes. In a mixing bowl, imash lang natin yung patatas na nilaga ko muna at binalatan. Mas madali kasing humiwalay ang balat nito kapag nilaga na. At gagamit lang ako ng tinidor para imash ito. Pagkatapos, yung nilagang itlog naman ang imash natin. At isison natin with salt. and ground black pepper. Haluin para ma-distribute ng maayos ang seasoning natin. Maglagay din tayo ng mixed vegetables, minced onion, sesame seeds, luncheon meat cut into cubes, and mayonnaise. Hindi na ako magdadagdag pa ng seasoning dahil malasa na yung luncheon meat and mayonnaise. Mix until all the ingredients are well blended. Ngayon, Mag-scoop na tayo ng vegetable mixture at i-coat natin with all-purpose flour. Using your clean hands, form the mixture into a ball. I-dip at i-roll sa egg gamit ang tinidor. Ngayon, i-roll naman natin sa breadcrumbs. Next, I will show you how to make bread croquette. You'll need egg and flour mixture. Gagamit din ako ng pandesal. Hiniwa ko lang ito using a bread knife. Kumuha ng hinating pandesal. At lagyan ng palaman. Cover with the other half of sliced pandesal. Then, dip into the egg and flour mixture. Using a spoon, buhusan ito ng butter. Pagkatapos, i-roll na natin sa bread crumbs. Repeat the process. With the remaining bread and filling. This recipe can make 10 bread croquettes and 10 mixed veggies croquettes. Ngayon, mag-fry na tayo. Heat oil in a pan, set at medium-high heat. Fry croquettes into the hot oil until golden brown. Don't overcrowd your pan to maintain oil temperature. Once the croquettes are nicely golden brown, transfer to a paper towel lined platter para maabsorb yung excess oil. Hahatiin ko lang yung bread croquettes. Pagkatapos, iserve natin with a drizzle of ketchup and mayo. Ready to serve na rin yung veggies croquettes with mayo ketchup dipping sauce or iserve natin ng ganito. At ito naman yung complete ingredients. Thanks for watching and see you in my next cooking journal.